Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play. This is your host, Billy Bob HD, bringing you another episode of EU4 Conquest of Paradise. Last episode, we annexed this territory here. So we finally have all three. And what I wanted to do next was something I noticed. I want to just change these cultures to get them all the same. Which apparently is Dakota. Interesting. My starting, you know, this is my starting province here, and my Cheyenne was my starting culture, so. Anyway, I just want to make them all the same. I can go ahead and change it here as well once uh, our building is finished. So here's what's going on in the new world. Also, very important since last episode, we've got native advancements, okay? So there's a bunch of good stuff on here. You can do admin ideas, build cost negative 20, tax modifier plus 25, stability cost modifier minus 20, national revolt risk minus 2, and admin technology cost minus 100. That's huge. This is how we get to advance quickly, quickly. I think I just said quicker, by the way. Quicker. Uh, military ideas, morale of armies plus 10, leader shock plus 1, land force limit modifier, that's huge, plus 33, land attrition minus 20, and military technology cost minus 100. So, we're almost at tech 3 level for military, so we're going to wait to do any ideas for that. I've already hit level 3 for diplomatic technology, so we can start investing into those. And I'd like to get admin up there as well. We're at plus 5, plus 7, plus 10. Alright, so we're going to unpause the game here. And so like I said, we can actually start investing in diplomatic technologies. We're already at level 3, so let's just go ahead. Can I skip ahead? You can. We get some prestige from that as well. So now... We have cheaper technologies, I guess. Uh, next, we could get a colonist, and that's how we can start expanding. I actually really want to do that, so we've got plenty of troops to do so. We can build a building. Oh, that's I want to change the culture. That's here. So let's go ahead and get that culture changed. Um, yes, I know we have a free advisor slot. all the same religion, so if we get all the same culture, that would be great. Native advancement. Alright, culture changes, also. Okay. That last message basically meant we lost our original culture, which is kind of like a bummer, but... What are you going to do? Alright, so when we get a colonist, I'm looking to see if I can go this way. Alright, military technology up to three. We picked up some extra land morale. Uh, let's see. Stability zero. We could build more army units, but I'm not using it right now because I'm pumping that money into my advisors here to try to help the tech go a little quicker. Okay. 
So we've got all the Dakota culture now. So now we can build a building. Let's do the tax. Tax modifier. Our income needs a little bit of a boost right now. Let's see what's going on over here. Fox Tribe has tightened down to just one province. Wow. I'll take the hits of my cash there. Choctaw in the southeast. They're becoming pretty big. Navajo down here in the southwest. Our general just died. Awesome. Trade point four five. We have a merchant, but we haven't discovered these trade nodes yet, apparently. So it's not letting me use it. Yeah, see, this is all dark. This is all discovered here. Not a whole lot. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to expand this way. Because I'm hoping that's kind of the last area the Europeans will be looking to move into from a time perspective, so it gives me the most time to advance as much as I can. Alright, so these three are all good. We'll just continue to build up that province. Our income went up nicely. I must have had an advisor that died, yeah. So, military ideas. What am I going to invest in for military ideas? I think some morale would be awesome. Eventually, I'll want to grab the force limit modifier. And we're moving forward, so full speed ahead. Okay, we're getting close to having enough, you know, power to get a colonist here. That's my next move. Uh, admin ideas. I really want to get that up to three. Before I start investing in those. So when we get the colonist, you know, hopefully we can start filling in some territory here. It looks like you know you've got some desert territory as well as some you know some fields that are gonna get really really cold in the winter. All right, nice. Prestige bump there. Let's get the fort. So, we're gaining a lot of military technology compared <laughs> compared to the other ones. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Looks like Asaboin here in the Midwest, the northern Midwest. Oh, that's... Is that just a new tribe there? Interesting. Maybe somebody migrated? I don't know. Yep, that's what we've got going on. Migration. So, I don't plan on doing that. I plan on just building, you know, building a foundation out here as much as possible. We're kind of like was this in present day time, like North Dakota, something like that? Montana area? Maybe a little Wyoming over here? Okay. Look at that. 
December. I've got snow just covering everything. You know, hopefully that might work to my advantage when the Europeans get here. Uh, that's one of the new features of the DLC, Conquest of Paradise, is, uh, you know, snow will affect your army's morale and etc. It's kind of my driest province, it's technically desert, I guess, but the desert that gets snow. It's weird. Freaking weird, man. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Clan migrations. Okay, we have a colonist. Yes! Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this territory. I'm going to take my troops over just to quell any revolts or anything like that or some attacks. Yeah, see, we won. 500 over there. Easily won. Running into the negative right now. There. Um, it's because I'm reinforcing. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm colonizing? Let's take a look. There we go. Yeah. That's why. Colonial maintenance 2.04. Wow. Take the morale. So we can float that for a little while. This is going to go very slowly. Very slowly. So in that case, you know what? Let's just... On my budget here. Let's just bring that down. So we're at least not losing money. Cut that in half. Let's see. I think it slows your growth, but we need to be moving forward with income. <laughs> I can't afford to be losing it. So, we continue to expand, though. I mean, this is good. This is a good thing. I can do some military, uh, let's see. Uh, military ideas. Morale plus 10. Leader shock plus 1. Force limit. That's great. Um, I'm thinking either morale or technology at the moment, just because I I can't really use the force limit at this point because I'm not making enough money to support like a, a full army, so I have to continue to build economically to support that army, and so I just, so I just took the tech here. Which will help us in life in general as we continue to try to catch up Uh, that's the thing about playing as one of these tribes. You definitely get the feeling like you're playing from behind. From the start. Which you are. I don't know if the Navajo is colonizing or what. I think they were this big when we started this episode. Not completely sure. Fox keeps moving around. Iroquois. One, two, three, four. They've got five provinces. You know. No biggie. Okay, so something we haven't really been worrying about at all is how we get along with our neighbors. And 
at this point, you know, it's... Oh, we've got a little... Uh, get a general. And we'll send that over. You know, if one of these tribes were to migrate, if the Sioux tribe were to migrate, I mean, next thing you know, we've got border friction. Oh, he went this way. He did migrate. Okay. Lost some troops there. Losing money because we're reinforcing our army currently. Or, I don't know. I don't think that's it, actually. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe my income went down. This is all desert, desert provinces over here. The Dakotas. Here comes the winter. California has such a horrible trade node value right now. I mean, not a lot of supplies being generated out of this area. I mean, that is a concern. Like, we could have huge amounts of territory going up here. But I really don't have, like, trade power access or production of any, like, goods that are significant to the world. At this point, it's not like I've got tobacco over here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can move down the California coast here. I mean, these people are animist that live down here. So I don't know if that's really the best idea or not. Losing money like a boss. You know, the whole colonization thing could be kind of bad right now from an economic standpoint. Let's see if this gets to go down once I sort of acquire this. I think it will. Ooh, prestige hit. I'll take the admin power hit. That really sucks because so damn close to being a level 3 there. Fur will now be produced. We do have fur. So. Alright guys, well, that's where gonna I'm gonna end the episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stick around. Please like, subscribe, follow me if you like my content. And we'll catch you next time on the next episode. Thanks guys.